Wow, didn't expect this. <laughs> Decades later, memories of the attempted rape are still fresh for Lisa Lieberman Wang. An employer asked me to come down to a hotel room. I was a professional ballroom dancer and to bring music, and I was attacked with a man with a towel on him. Lieberman Wang turned her heartache into healing, counseling sex abuse victims across the country on how to fight intimidation. Just this week, news anchor Lauren Sivan broke her silence about an alleged sexual encounter with Harvey Weinstein in 2007. For me to speak out, and whether or not that would have accomplished anything, whether or not people actually took me seriously or believed me, um, I don't think that behavior would have stopped. Don't embarrass me in the hotel. I'm here all the time. Audio from that 2015 undercover sting was proof enough for the NYPD that Weinstein committed a crime. I can you say you touch my priest. Oh, please, I'm sorry. Just come on. I'm used to that. Are you used please. to that? Yes, come in. The actress in the audio recording says she fell into a deep depression after her encounter with Weinstein, blaming herself for not doing more to stop his advances. I see it all the time with the women I work with. They're brilliant. They really are. But they, when something bad happens, all of a sudden they turn it inward and beat themselves up instead of the person who did it. Lieberman Wang hopes the Weinstein scandal will change the conversation around sexual assault. Maybe now people will speak up and realize it's not just celebrities, it's managers in offices, restaurants, dance studios, regular business. This happens all the time. It's just that they need to know they have a right to speak up and it's not going to cost them a job because of it. It's going to help save the next life because they spoke up. The hope is that as more women come forward, fewer men will use their power to abuse. Jessica Moore, CBS2 News. The National Sexual Violence Resource Center says one in three women and one in ten men have experienced sexual abuse.